Welcome back, folks. We're in a slightly different place than last time, of course. Because I missed something. A hand mirror. Let's There's even and like a the box drawn around. <laughs> that was kind of obvious. I did. I wasn't sure what that was. I thought it was a stain on the floor, to be honest. Yeah. I figured I'd let it go until uh, he finished the video and bypassed the, uh, the Lady of Beauty here. Yes. So let's see. You're incredibly beautiful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here's a mirror, Sue. And here's a mirror. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Look at me. Do you see that? I'm fat. 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 Ever so fat. <sighs> well, you didn't lose that much weight. There. Am I not beautiful? Look at my complexion. Pale white and gleaming. I see. And this gets us... What exactly? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I mean, I think I have to go through that door anyway that she's... Yeah, you have to go through the door upon. anyway. But you got to see us automatically, though. My goodness. You didn't, you didn't explore, you know, the town thoroughly in every single day and listen to every single reaction and see every single cutscene. But here in the lodge, these things can be better controlled. Also, I can walk right That's through That's right, because you solved the temple. Oh, no, you solved ah. the mystery, rather. I invite you now, now to this man on the table. To I'll uh, go ahead and also say, and go and click through that, that uh, the doctor thing to cure the venereal disease is a little syringe that's down there on the floor if you actually did engage in intercourse. But you didn't. You killed a bitch. Yeah, I called them whores. Now I cannot circumvent this table, so I suppose I'll snap this man. Watch out. Is that good, Master? Hmm? <laughs> I love how you say Masters are gone and suddenly like, hmm? <laughs> Bad. Okay. Do I have anything else I can hit you with? A nail gun would probably hurt. Hey, those nails are actually in my inventory. That's neat. A baseball bat would be kind of painful. Uh, let's go with the baseball bat. Oops. You definitely appear to be stuck on the table here. Oh, there we go. I guess he's fine with it. Okay. Uh, Maybe it's that center door. Maybe back. it's that center door that you're supposed to go through. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. You successfully completed the mystery by killing him. Alternatively, you can just kill this guy rather than torture the guy on the table. Weird. What the hell are you holding, by the way? It looks like a, a collar on a stick, possibly? Hmm. Oh, well. You're like, all right, I'm cool with killing now. that guy. <laughs> it's fine with me. Now, blind woman, she's not ringing her mail now. Mystery or it's a man. Charity. It's Loomis. mystery is there in charity, for God's sake? The mystery is the... Any act of charity is an act of selfishness. For in any charitable exchange, one must take from another. And one is always left the poorer. The giver is not poor, he receives a great feeling from giving. Feeling. Discouraging answer, Initiate. You see, though I am needy, I do not consider myself a beggar so much as a taker. I require charity, Initiate. Give me something. Uh, I guess I didn't pick up what you needed? I don't have anything to give you. Charity is a loathsome lie. The only gift that keeps on giving is death. And are you coming after now me? Now you have to take down Loomis, who uh, goes down pretty easily. I was gonna say after poking me, stop it, Loomis, and he turns into just a pile of. Yes, yeah, very interesting. He's all whoa! I totally killed Loomis. <laughs> yeah, go fast. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> You, <laughs> Nothing bad. You didn't whip that guy on the torture table to death or anything. No, no, you didn't. You heartless bastard, Steve. Oh my goodness. Ta da! That's how all people are disposed of the lodge. And each member is expected to do his share. Of course. Well, that should be pretty easy. 
but my retired death But I'm not a member, I'm an initiate. They're begging you for mercy. Do you grant it? Uh, sure. Fortunate decision. Love is the mystery of mercy. Life is a competition, and mercy a perversion of the natural order. When you extend mercy to a competitor, you give him a second chance to beat you. Well, I was going to kill him. You under you don't understand this, do you? Don't bring a sword and a shield to a shotgun fight, motherfucker. <laughs> At least you found an ancient sword. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Steve? <laughs> well, everyone was a competitor for my natural resources. <laughs> Wait, what? You you went what? you went through the wrong door. <laughs> Don't mind me while I'm armed with a sword, lady. Well, sorry, he's already dead. Steve, no dancing. Yeah, he's, he's celebrating his victory. He decided to do a victory lap. Literally, he's he like, did. look at me, all these people I just met. Woo! Well, look at you up there. Don't jump, you have so much to live for. Don't do it. You have so much to live for. No! Don't jump! Wow! What? Hey. Well, shitcock. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> if there's anything this game teaches me, it's that really ranged weapons are king. <laughs> True facts. Get closer to him. Just run. Just run. Nope. You have to go through the mysteries, man. They're all mysterious. Oh. Fuck your mystery. Oh. Uh oh. I'm wasting oh. shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't ow. mean to waste my mouse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Ow, he shot me through the sword. <laughs> Dicks. Okay, um. Gonna have to jump. So first guy is clearly ranged. Uh, the second guy, not so much. Okay, so let's go ahead and get equipped with the nail gun, I think would be the most appropriate choice here. And let's try not to waste nails like a dumb shit. So we can break through this challenge. This dog's name is Steve. Come on. Don't shoot the floor. Would you rather him shoot you? I I I I I I I let's go with this actually. Fuck that sword. That sword's for bitches. No. Well, he didn't jump. And then the exit is there. Well, that was fun. I feel I feel like we're getting to the close the close of this game with the Steve Meister. That's right after you know kill, killing uh, some innocent people. He's like yes. We're getting closer to the end. Oh boy. Welcome to the inner sanctum, big guy. Prince of oh boy. Hero? You're Within you the yourself. Inner sanctum, you will address me as Vice Muck Hero, second in command to the Grand Muckety Muck. He of the Fez and Buffalo Ham, the secret handshake, the funny passwords. Only fitting, given that my role has always been that of an educator, and Harvest is one big classroom. What do you mean? You'll, You'll have, have to, to kill, kill me to, to find, find out what he means, means, big guy. That guy looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, doesn't he? <laughs> Just for a second there. Huh. This this actually reminds me of a lot of, like, uh, Grand Imperial Wizards, of course, ranks in the KKK. Don't you even try that shit. I should, don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you talk. No! <laughs> well, now you're committed. You are trapped in the cutscene.
Of course. The bell and win the prize for the lovely lady. Or is it win the lovely lady as your prize? Enough games. Agreed. I'm not exactly sure what she's strapped into there. But she's clearly still alive. Each time you climbed the rope, you caused her pain. But you always hurt the ones you love. No shit. Presuming a lot. Aside from you, she is the only real person in Harvest. Suspended in a tank, jacked in just as you are. I assume you'll want to spend time together. If I stay. Of course. Having completed your ordeal, you may leave with her as you intended and enjoy your victory. 
If, on the other hand, you wish to join us, the cost of exiting the Lodge is the same as the cost of entering the Lodge. A skull and spinal cord. Hers. No. You couldn't kill me. These harvesters, they put people through this torture to give them a taste for killing. The way to beat them is to deny them. To live out your life here. With me. You're thinking about killing me, aren't you? Didn't you hear what he said? I do exist. If you kill me here, I'll die for real. And I'll feel all the pain, all the terror, because I'm real. Well, after all, what's a murder without pain and terror? We will feed the pain impulses directly into our brain, and then pull the plug. You will be a murderer, this time for real. So what will it be, life in harvest, or life as a harvester? Do I actually get to choose? Yeah, you do. Now, uh, okay. I, I gotta say, I had I had a whole lot of fun reading lips there for the past four minutes, and I, I must say, uh, the Sergeant at Arms there has these peculiarly repeating uh, facial expressions where the eyebrows slant up, the eyes look sad, the eyebrows come down, sad. So, there you go, Lethal. There's your explanation. Well... I'm conflicted on this, as I'm sure many players of this game would be. Of course, we could live in this simulation. Also, this reminds me of a commenter by the name of Explosion Radius, who thought this was all a gigantic social experiment. Well, you were kind of close. You marry Stephanie, you can live out the rest of your life in Harvest, which in the real world would only be a few seconds before they kill you, but it would extend it to be the length of a natural span. Or... Now... I Go ahead. I was going to say, or I could choose to become a harvester, and I'd have control of my own life. That's right. And I could become Dexter. You, well, maybe, maybe, maybe no, no, <laughs> you, you would be the Steve Meister. You kill Stephanie, which would be for real, apparently. Everything you've seen up to the point has been real, and you're brought back into the real world, where then you could kill all the other harvesters, because you're free! <laughs> I know, and that sounds like the better idea. We'd have to sacrifice Stephanie, but at I least mean, we could bring you, this to an all end. All these other people you thought were really <laughs> yeah, people, clearly. the guy that you're torturing. So really, what's one? One, right? I will kill Stephanie for the greater good. <laughs> Please help me. Jesus. Now you actually have to do it. No! No! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll just butt bump you to death, Stephanie. This hurts me as much as it hurts you. And now you're not hitting her. What? <laughs> you skipped past God the damn. ending cinematic. Great job. It, well, it just immediately went. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't hit her. Well, shit. Sorry, folks. Game is dumb. Game lethal. Now we get to sit through all that again. <laughs> no, I can skip cutscenes, clearly. Yeah. Welcome to the inner sanctum. Oh yes, I must kill you again. Yeah. Shut your whore mouth. Shut it. I wonder if I could just kill you like this. <laughs> Much better. Much better. You don't even need to use the shotgun. You can just go right up Eden to him. save. Or we're doing this. That'll work. We are doing this. And yes. Yes. Shut it. Kill, maim, destroy. You, so you can just take a long pause after every single hit. Because I was walking away. I cannot leave. You'll, not, you'll notice this whole thing's a chapel here. I can't hit the Master of Arms. If I get that shot. Okay. Come on, Stephanie. Give up the ghost. You done? 
They got it. There we go, folks. Wow, that was neat. <laughs> Welcome to our order, brother. going nowhere so clearly this is such a futuristic world that you're that steve apparently lives in but look at this fucking car it's ridiculous it's so shiny it's a tucker isn't it that does not look futuristic to me looks like it was made now in the 90s like a tucker. <laughs> what are you doing Frank? playing harvester that thing? I looked at it the other day. The very thought. Breeding serial killers. It's disgusting. It's cool. You'll rot your mind playing games like that. Don't you know people who watch violence become violent themselves? That's bullshit, Mom. No, it isn't. Why do you think they started cutting the violence out of those... Roadrunner cartoons. Roadrunner cartoon. <laughs> Roadrunner cartoon. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. And that's Harvester. Well, we got to see the other ending, right? Do you? Because that was the bad ending. Are you sure that was bad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't sound sure. And here's all the fantastic people who are responsible for this game. I can't, I can't figure out which, uh, which character I like the most. I kind of wish there was a spin-off game to this that featured Clem shooting aliens, hunting them. So, what'd you think about Harvester? I actually liked it a lot. It's a very weird game, clearly. Uh, it's not a good game, as you indicated, especially with those stupid pixel hunts, and of course all the all the violence and whatnot. I guess <laughs> those are really second to the pixel. The hunts. pixel hunts are first behind the reason why it's not a good game. Oh. The fact that you know none of this shit makes any sense. The crazy fucking lodge is all sorts of fucked up bullshit. That it's been feels and has clearly been rushed towards the end there, and the fact that at uh, the end, oh yeah, surprise! By the way, this is a VR simulation. You can get little hints of that by uh, checking out the end of some of those death cut scenes. You'll see that EKG it looks all futuristic and shit. Yeah, well, it it also felt like a goddamn dream since the very beginning. Right. But I mean, for everything that you could have possibly guessed, VR simulation, this is a training module for potential serial killer. Yeah, I didn't exactly get that. Anyway, let's marry Stephanie and see what happens. God damn it, game. I only pressed once. Well, the game is over. Let me again. slow down the cycles because this game is done. Good job, everyone. We saw the end. <laughs> hmm. Apparently, we would have triggered. to beat the game four fucking times to see two in. <laughs> okay, let's slow down the cycles. They are currently running at, like, uh, 30,000. Okay. Click. Click. There we go.
Yay, fake baby! I see. Okay, well... Don't, you, don't huh. you feel more rewarded from that good ending? Not really. I just wish Steve had a mind of his fucking own so he could have done what I said and killed the serial killers or the people responsible. <laughs> Fortunately, he turned into a fucking dumb shit, which I shouldn't be surprised with because he's goddamn Steve. So, Harvester! Again. <laughs> Uh, you know, I liked it up until the end, to be honest. But was the ending disappointing for you there? I wish there was at least one ending that was satisfying, like my way actually worked. Where you'd sacrifice Stephanie for the greater good. Unfortunately, you just have to die like a bitch or become a serial killer. That's your only option. <laughs> Two extreme. <laughs> Both that suck. Be enough. Obviously, you know, the, the endings can be disappointing for, uh, for a game like that, but you'd first have to actually get to the endings, and it's fair to say not many people have played this game, fewer people have tolerated this game, and fewer still have discerned the mysteries. Now, of course, you have all this, you know, the cute commentary, you know, it's like a Harvester is a violent game that's uh, offering this sort of criticism about the violence of games, as well as all of the... It's taking like this sort of like pessimistic attitude, sort of like playing an entire devil's advocate on life itself, with the various mysteries and how they're looking at the negative side of everything. Motherly love, charity, beauty, seeing the horror in everything, which is something my brother appreciated. Yeah, cynics to the end, it would seem. Pretty much every aspect of life, whether it be charity or motherhood or, well, pretty much anything else. And of course, they threw in some other little sprinklings of political commentary in there, like the uh, Vietnam vet that killed his family. Right, he was trained to be a killer. He couldn't just uh, let go everything that he had seen and done whenever he came back to the States. I, you also have the situation, well, I mean, clearly the game at the beginning, it's quirky and interesting, and you're like, all right, I'll go along with this, sure, why not? Everything is slightly askew, though, my ass. <laughs> yeah, slightly askew, my ass, indeed. It lulls you into a false sense of security, and then things start getting weird. Because things are clearly, uh... Hell, but it's like you're breaking the simulation. You kill all these people, it doesn't react at all. You you seemingly derail things. Apparently, like, in real life, in quotation marks, I say, if I killed a woman and her entire lower torso was the abdomen of a wasp, we'd have a big fucking problem. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mind if that transpired. Do you bring that to the authorities and say she was a monstrosity? <laughs> I only noticed it after I one-punched her in the face, her head fell off, and then I discovered she was some kind of wasp-like creature. You know, it happened. You know, and Steve has no reaction to that! Like, huh? <laughs> Like, Steve is just, like, this sort of, like, blank slate in some aspects, and, you know, his monotonous conversational shit. Uh, it's... Every, everyone else, I think, well, not everyone, but many of the other people you talk to have some sort of interesting characteristic or have some sort of descriptive flavor that'll get you to latch onto them and memorize them in some fashion. Potsdam, of course, has his meat. Uh, you have uh, the principal who goes on with the big guy and, well, it did time. You have uh, the aluminum siding asshole, Clem with the aliens. Uh and so forth. There's very few people who you could, you know, just bring to mind. But Steve himself is pretty... Blech. Pretty blah. Yeah, and he, he seems to... 
had the tendencies already of a serial killer, being that he lacks empathy for a lot of things. He doesn't seem to really get a lot of things. Maybe that's actually it. Maybe he's a, maybe he's actually a sociopath. And that's how, you know, I've, I've kicked around this idea in my head a few times. Like, how did he actually get on the table? Did he attract the attention of someone who's a part of this brotherhood? And they thought he might make for a worthwhile candidate? Did they pick him up at random? Did he go to a class? <laughs> Perhaps the principal is a real person. And Steve wrote this very bizarre short story. Right. That clued him in that he might be a goddamn sociopath. And I imagine they picked up Stephanie. How? Because they just picked up a random woman and threw her in. Might as well. But, I mean, uh, it's not uh, like uh, there's uh, any real attachment. Apparently they have some sort of vague familiarization. So maybe they were boyfriend and girlfriend and couldn't remember. Hell if I know. Although, like you were saying with Steve, St uh, Stephanie's a very flat character also. She's not extremely interesting either. Right. She doesn't even know what tampons are for crying It's amazing out. how well she reacts. <laughs> it's amazing how well she reacts to everything. Like, she doesn't try to escape or anything. Yeah, like you. You were expected to go out of the town and solve big mysteries. She just sits there and, you know, because stays grounded. Because she's a useless woman, right? Uh... Clearly. I mean, she didn't look in her room trying to find things and puzzle her way out of the house. While we're, you know, getting tape, breaking windows, doing all this bullshit. No, she's just going to sit and stew in her Maybe room. she's stuck in there for the same reason that Steve is forced to be killed at these end of the cinematics. Because the VR simulation won't let her uh, go and she can't see a way to break the rules of the VR. I'm going to do like some Matrix bullshit here. <laughs> I guess. I mean, like, it sounds like you're just making excuses. I mean, like, obviously, Steve is picked up and manhandled by the sheriff and, you know, thrown in the electric chair. You're like, you have a fucking scythe and a shotgun and a fucking, you know, you know, all these other fucking weapons. Why can't I deal with them? Because the simulation won't let you. That's a fair, that's a fair statement because easily we could kill him, but we can't. Also, there's lots of. Lots of situations where there were witnesses, where there were no witnesses. But clearly the, the simulation yep. itself is witnessing and it's testing to see whether you could actually be effective out in the field. Yeah, something like that. It's all, you killed, you killed a guy in a slaughterhouse full of cats. One of those cats could have told the authorities. Yes, I could have. You have failed. <laughs> yep. You're going to have, Doctor, yes, Steve, you are the Steve Meister. I approve of these transpirings. Wouldn't you like to have Dr. Claw, you know, be the priest at your wedding? I now pronounce you man and wife. Is that a problem? Lethal. <laughs> Don't you want to be married in my chapel of love? No. <laughs> but but lethal. It's got it's got roses. It has an archway. No. It needs prime rib, Dr. Claw. I think we can, we can consult. Not people, not people, <laughs> Prime Rib. I'm talking beef. <laughs> not that phony baloney beef. Not the human Prime Rib. That's phony baloney beef. It's not real. So yeah, uh, uh, I, I thought the game was interesting, and uh, considering how I, what I know of your personality and proclivities, I thought it would be something you would. Uh, you would enjoy it's not i don't think the game is that bullshit in regards to its puzzles they're really simple and the combat is pretty it's hit and miss yeah <laughs> in more ways than one this is not exactly a challenging game here it's it can be challenging on the mind and the patience but in regards to, like it's intense puzzle solving eh, you know this is this is pretty light fare yeah, it's pretty much where's Waldo as much of as much of a mark, yeah. and make sure that you click on the door properly. That's right, and attempt to capitalize on the prevalent violence of the game. The problem is that by the time this game was published in 1996, any sort of publicity it got from all this violent shit that was erased. Uh, violent games weren't exactly you know great sellers at the time, especially since it had been banned in uh, quite a few stores already. And the adventure game itself by 1996, not a not a prevalent genre either. I don't think this game was bad enough to ban. I think that's dumb. 
But, uh, I mean, do we know which countries actually did this? I don't know them off the top of my head, no. Okay, well, anyway, I mean, those you, countries are bitches. Because it's not that bad. You provided a massive list of things this game contains from, like, what, the Wikipedia article or something? Yeah. <laughs> you know, people read that and they go, fuck that game. <laughs> Perhaps for good reason. But I mean, we have, well, probably at the time this game was produced, we didn't have an age-rated system, but... Nowadays we do, so I suppose it would fly, possibly. It... And, you know, of course, it's possible the game very well could have turned out better with more time and money. Which, you know, most developers end up fucking saying, because over-ambitiousness and uh, constraints of the, the foul corporations leads to a drop of quality. I'm not sure how much better they could have made this game, though. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, as far as an FMV game is concerned, it is beautiful. Some of the acting in here is much better than you'll see in pretty much anything that's an FMV game. See, I completely than... disagree with that. And it's only really? hand-waved over the prospect of it being, like, virtual reality. The fact that th that's the reason why everyone seems off-kilter and weird. It's because it's a VR simulation. It's supposed to fuck with you. I suppose, but I liked a lot of the actors in here. You, you you liked them, but you didn't think they were real people. Well, yeah, but they're supposed to be weird. They played their weird roles perfectly. Yeah. The writing is what sucks. The acting was fantastic. Steve's acting was not fantastic. And neither was well, of course. That, that fucking just... love scene. <laughs> <laughs> the reactions between Stephanie and Steve especially. Yeah, it's funny that the main character and his love interest would be so shabby. And, of course, the guy with the aliens that he kills is fantastic. The uh, the guy who's obsessed with meat are Mr. Potsdam fantastic. is, and this word is really a an awkward word choice. Mr. Potsdam is adorable. <laughs> he is adorable, isn't he? I mean, if you, if you try to hand wave the whole creepy part of the sex scene where he's clearly watching through the wall as well as you know all the wadded up tissues the fact that he buried Karen alive what you have is a very adorable individual yeah he's you know a child molester and he's obsessed with me but he's just so he's so it's a, really the face that does it <laughs> though yes 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 he has such adorable facial expressions just like mr johnson with that yep. <laughs> pop eyed look in. I know. <laughs> All right, Griffith. I think we've bullshit long enough on Dude, this we video. We talk right? for like two more hours and people. Still it's true, this. but then Camtasia would crash and that'd make me sad. No, no, then we'd have to record the ending again. That'd be terrible. Be, uh, any any final final thoughts on? Or so you think this is something that people is it's worth playing? I was going to say, you could sell this on GOG and people would buy it. I would buy it on GOG. Would you replay this game? Not, well, it's hard to say it after I just played it. Really. <laughs> you, you still would I know might, I, whether a I game might has enough replay. I think I would actually play it again. I'd be all, was that game really that way? I'll have to play it again and make <laughs> Look sure. at that face from Mr. Johnson, that's awesome. You know. It's true, I'd have to watch Mr. Potsdam again. And of course, Mr. Potsdam. Oh, and don't forget about the meat. And we never did kill Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that, that's that'll, the replay factor. That, that'll remain in your heart forever. <sighs> I'll get you next time, Jimmy. Next time!